Yo, what's going on guys? It's your buddy Swamu Tupi. We're back again on my YouTube channel. On today's video, we're going to be speaking about how you can trade during the festive seasons because I understand that the market condition is a bit more different compared to any other, like, you know, um, time frame, like, you know, or like, you know, any other, like, you know, especially during the year, like during the year, the beginning of the year, normally the market moves much more different when we are actually looking at comparing it with the festive se season, such as December time. So we are now going to be speaking about that. Luckily, I've got like, you know, now close to approaching five years of trading in the forex and industry. So now we're going to be speaking about some of the experiences that I've been through. I'm also going to cover with you guys some of the risks that you can actually do, um, you know, meet up with. And some tips, like, you know, what are, like, you know, me showing you problems without solutions? Like, what is the purpose of me showing you problems if I don't come with solutions? So we are also going to be speaking about the solutions or the tips that I believe you can, like, you know, um, work into improving just so we can become better traders and trade perfectly during these festive seasons let us now start with this amazing topic okay so now guys like i'm gonna start like i'm gonna actually speak with you maybe in terms of me speaking with the beginner or someone that's just getting into trading because looking at it like obviously i would say something such as trading is gonna become easier when you do have your strategy down when you do already know what's going on when you know what you're doing in the market then trading can become easier during this rough times you understand you can still be able to win during this rough times but if you're not and you're just like you know someone that's like close to starting out or someone that has already started out and you just want to see what's happening so one of the reasons that also what um trading during the festive seasons like you know the influence that you can be able to experience is that remember there is no um a lot of investors there's no a lot of traders trading activity becomes a bit more less compared to um any other time during the year because at this time that's when there is no active traders people have now withdrew their capital and they're not like you know investing and trading and stuff and um we are going to dive down also with regarding to the big guys the big boys how they also influence the market but now truly speaking active traders there is no much active traders compared to any other year because this is the perfect time for people to do what to withdraw their money and spend time with their families and even just like you know buy things that they've been working for the whole year and stuff so trading activity is a bit more lesser compared to any other year secondly now one of the things that i also notice is that trading it does become difficult during these rough conditions it's not simple it's difficult that's why you need to know what exactly you are doing you need to know some of the ways that the strategy that you are going to employ and stick to it not only that you also need to be able to look at the risks and there's specific adjustments that you'll need to do in terms of trading at this volatile markets and stuff but let us now start off by getting over to the risk side so i want to cover the risks and then once i'm done speaking with the risks we'll move over to the other side then we'll speak about you know um the tips that i can help you on which i believe this is the purpose of this video helping you be able to trade perfectly throughout this whole festive season so let us get to the tips i mean to the risks so one of the first risks that i did come up with or that i spotted is that the market has low liquidity so let me explain the term liquidity to you liquidity is actually the ability to be able to transfer or turn an asset into cash easily without ever losing money in terms of the market price do you understand so that term says a lot and looking at it there's actually low liquidity in the market during this time frame especially on christmas days because at this time big players such as banks institutional traders hedge funds and stuff are not operating on this day so there's there, there's no much of um you know um that that whole liquidity money that can be able to you know supply or help in terms of like the trading world and stuff on which we're gonna get over to the second and third point which are also in alignment with, um, say, with what i'm saying now but that also um it's one of the things that actually do happen to become like you know a risk it's a risk the fact that there's low liquidity meaning that that asset that you've got you can't easily turn it into 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 um cash you understand so it's a bit more tough and there's a lot of manipulations and stuff that can actually pull through with it which moves us to the second point and the second point is actually on the risk the second risk is the fact that the market is a bit more volatile so remember we've got low li liquidity but also high in volatile because at this time the market is not even moving in clearer upward direction or clearer downward direction at this time the market is moving either like you know shooting up or shooting downwards you know because there, there, there's not much of the big players are not being involved in this so the market can just spike to the upside spike to the downside and which causes like you know a lot of stop hands obviously it causes like you know um you, you you understand like it causes stop hands you know things that are like you know not in alignment with 
the way that we are looking at it, especially if your strategy is not in alignment with creating high volatile moments in top hands and also breakouts. You understand false breakouts to be to be to be exact. Like the false breakouts and stop hands are something that we don't need. And because of those volatile moments, you are going to experience a lot of those on which you can duck your strategy. You can start thinking or feeling otherwise, which we don't want it in the markets. The third risk that I was able to spot is that brokers at this time. Remember, big players are not inside. They're not trading banks and all those things. It's only a few active traders that are trading at that time, especially on Christmas. Only a few active traders that are in the market. So, brokers are still operating. You understand? Like um, things such as brokers, like obviously there's costs, there's fees, there's one, two, three, in order of them to still continue to operate. So they don't want to lose money, they still want to be on the positive side um, when you do come back to January, they have to pay salaries, they have to run their companies on which what can happen is that you can be involved in brokers like you know manipulating things such as spread so here that's when you will see spread increasing heavily and you can't really be too sure with the time when that spread is going to be increasing and stuff but spread is going to be like you know they'll just be playing around the spread like you know, it's going to be a bit more big and there's going to be a less side and it's going to be huge just so they can also be able to make money on their side and you know with spread it kills you because like you know for you to make profit at first it means you have to cover the spread difference at first and then we can start making profit so those are the risks that i saw but i'm glad that now you do know the risk i'm glad that you are aware of the risk you know that okay during festive seasons this can happen this can happen let us take a look at also the positive side of it and some of the tips that you can implement in order of you to start trading today and still be able to see progress in your trading journey okay so um the very first tip that i'm gonna be starting up with is that obviously guys the strategy that you trade is what you actually do employ which is important for you understand so you need to do what you need to have that specific strategy observe it in the by studying the previous historic data now, so you have to go if you're looking at let's say years 30 um december go to years 30 december 2020 go to years 30 december 2020 i mean 2019 Go to year 30 December 2018 as far as you can go, but track only for that specific month. Let's say, for instance, for now, this month being the 1st of December, see what your strategy is like, and then this way it's, it's going to allow you to know or be aware of some of the things that you can be able to spot. So it helps you, like, when you backtest it only with the specific market condition, only with the specific time frame, then that's when you get a clearer um, picture of what your, your strategy is capable of. Now, so that is the very first tip going back to um, data looking at your strategy and looking at the potentials that it can give you moving over to the second tip so now what the second tip is that i highly believe that at this time frame it's much more better for someone to be focusing more on day trading unlike swing trading because so, like looking at it with swing trading obviously with day trading like you know in terms of if the spread is too much you have to also look at the spread if the spread is too much it's gonna cost you a lot to just make a, a few cents because by the time you're really closing it means that what it means that you are covering spread but with swing trading is simpler but with that like there's a, there's also ups and downs to it because remember the spread does move up and down the whole day the spread is not like you know a constant thing and the market is too volatile for you to hold and expect the market to continue going up the whole day you understand so it's much more simpler to actually look at a smaller time frame knowing that you'd be able to catch if it's volatile to the upside you catch the vol for that volatile movement to the upside then when, when you're out you can be able to be in and um you know take profits or just manage block profits you understand so the best thing that you can do one of the best ways that you can think for me during this time is that you can look into either scalping or day trading just so you are not like you know faced with like you know you're not trapped in the markets in terms of swing trading or you don't get affected by you know all these players that are going to be coming up and down this whole time and you just like you are literally in and out that way it's going to be much more better against the volatile movement so let's move over to the tip number three so the third tip is that you need to stay um you need to be up with your mental management you understand so i understand that people are trading without a plan on which it's very risky you need to trade with a plan the first thing so i'm not gonna say that because i have all the videos that are speaking more about that but you need to do what you need to now focus more on readjusting your stop loss and take profits a bit more quicker so instead of you just putting take profit and hoping for it to get there and waiting for it it's much more better when price moves into profit with you you keep on adjusting you keep on adjusting so if that volatile moment comes against you at least you can be able to go out with some small profits or even break even or just a small loss compared to that initial loss that you've set for yourself and also like you know it's much more better to just keep on adjusting your stop loss and your take profits cause find out that the market is volatile to your direction at the time and if it's shooting more to the upside 
then it means that like you know when you keep on adjusting your take profit you can actually go from banking let's say a three percent to like maybe a five or seven percent which is much more better you need to be looking at that and also um well, the fifth tip that i'm going to be jumping now into is that you need to be looking at the calendar just see what's being influ what's influencing the market follow that specific uh, currency or indices that you're looking at look at the calendar what's affecting it also like you know um just stay alert like you know um protect yourself you need to protect your capital protect yourself and also stay alert the most important thing is that you need to stay alert don't play states and then forget about it and then do certain things you can forget about it if you've got your stop loss down but if you don't have it then that's when you can come back and find your account blown or find that you are losing more money that you wanted to lose on which you don't want that in trading so that is like you know the fifth rule but let us get to the sixth and the very last um tip that i've got for you guys and this one here guess that if you did guess it guess it correctly with this one here it's much more better and it helps you be able to see the longer term of trading because remember trading forex is actually a long term um skill that you can that actually sustains the wealth wealth for you you understand so what can you do during this time i think the one of the most important things that you can do that i done because i remember back then um two years ago three years ago when i was getting into indices i spent that time to trade um you know indices learn about indices during december month and then january like automatically i made like 50 cages january and within like six months down i was able to make over half a million you know in cash and i was able to withdraw that money go get the car that i wanted you know do all those things that i wanted because i took time to learn the skill so the most important thing is that you need to rewind charge yourself and then focus on learning more because if you focus on learning it means that the whole year you're gonna enter it with a smart mindset with skill with a skill that's gonna help you but if you're just focusing on I want to make money I want to make money I want to make money during this December you are gonna put account you're gonna be stressful and stuff then you're gonna enter a new year with a mindset that's not clean so recharge yourself take back analyze learn about learn more about it empower yourself and then when you do get back when more active people are coming the market is getting to its normal market conditions which is going to be better for a beginner to take this way then you can also get to enjoy the skill that you've been spending so much um the whole of december learning now you can be able to just look at it and see it working for you so that's the sixth tip the sixth tip is literally having to just stand back recharge yourself and then coming back to the market with a cleaner mindset and more a much more better skill that's going to help you and one of the best ways that you can do there is if you you invest yourself in the forex chasers 3.0 which is uh, um which is literally a program that helps like you know anyone that goes from beginner anyone that goes from advanced to be able to just become a skilled trader not only looking at charts not only looking at the technical side of things focusing more on the psychology focusing more on having a plan having a roadmap in the markets and being able to just become the best of yourself i'll leave the link in the description if you are interested of becoming a member obviously there's a lot of you guys that do want mentorship from me i've noticed i've seen it in the comment section so i'll just make sure that i leave the link in the description so you can take advantage of that and spend this whole festive season learning and becoming skilled and perfect traders but i will see you on the next videos it's your boy is on tv and i will definitely see you make sure that you have a good night and subscribe remember our goal is to go for a million subscribers so press that subscribe guys and make sure that you are sharing with friends and family members